check, make sure everybody had their coffee and is alert and isn't going to fall asleep during the sermon. Already? Good morning. Good morning. Church is not meant to be just a quiet place. It is good to be awake and alert and, and active in the life of the church, but are we always alert and active in the life of the church? Are you always doing things at church? Is that what you do every day? No. 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 What, what do you do the rest of the week? Go to school. You go to school? You mean school? At school you can't be, be in the church? What about work? Work. Can you, can, you, can you be the church at work? Uh, you don't have a job? No. Even when you're out raking the lawn? Oh, well, you're just doing that to make a pile of leaves, aren't you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> when, when you go shopping at the grocery store, can you be the church? Yes. Sure. Yes, you can be the church at the grocery store. <laughs> How do you be the church at the grocery store? You pray at the grocery store? I know we all pray at the grocery store. We maybe not realize, Lord, please let the prices be low. Lord, please let milk be on sale. Butter, sorry, let butter be on sale. And sometimes, I have to share with everyone a funny little story. It's about my, my Aunt Glenna. Every time she sends me on, she sends me on errands to go get things for her because she can't always get out to get them herself. So the last time she sent me out for coffee, she likes the instant coffee, a certain kind. She's very particular about the kind she likes. She sent me out, and it wasn't on sale in any flyers. But I get to the store, and you know what happens when they forget to take the signs down from the last sale? They have to give you that price because it was up on... Sure enough, her coffee had a sign right over it, and it was a dollar cheaper. I said, Uncle Emma, how do you do that? And then I go to get her spare ribs one day because we were having a special dinner for her on her birthday. And sure enough, I show up to the store and what's there's one package of on sale spare ribs. So pray at the grocery store. You're right, Jamie. Yeah. Everybody pray at the grocery store, but not just for yourself. For everybody. For everybody. And, and just so everyone's aware, one of the prayers that are being prayed over concerning groceries, and the food banks are really struggling already. And so in our time of harvest and in our time of gathering things together for ourselves and preparing for the winter, let's remember these agencies that are looking after the least of these that surround us in our community. Where else can we be the church? Jamie. Everywhere. Everywhere. So it's not just here. Yeah. It's not just now. It is at school. Yeah. yeah. Even, even though there's not formal prayers in our schools these days, can you pray in your school? Yes, you can. And can you pray in your workplace? Yes. Yes, you can. You can, you can pray in the woods. You can pray in the... Who here goes for a walk in the woods to find a place to pray? Amen. Thank you, Jamie, for mentioning that. We can be the church in more than this. And that is really what Jesus encourages us to do. That is what God's people are always encouraged to do. Even in the Old Testament, it's no matter where you are, remember that you are God's people and what that means. Join me in prayer. Lord, help us to be your people, to serve you and to show you how much we love you especially as we gather at this table today and we remember Jesus and what he did for us. Lord, this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen.